one of our sign is cosecant, one of our cosine is secant, one of our ten is cotangent. One of our sign is cosecant, one of our cosine is secant, one of our ten is cotangent. When you find the reciprocal, S becomes C and C becomes S. Therefore, one over sine is cosecant, one over cosine is secant, one over ten is cotangent. Divide sine by cosine, you get ten with the reciprocals. It's the same plan. Cosecant over secant equals cotan. Divide sine by cosine, you get ten with the reciprocals. It's the same plan. Cosecant over secant equals cotan. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. That is the Pythagorean theorem relating the sides of a right triangle. But when you divide all sides by C squared and refer to the reference angle, A over C is sine of X and B over C is cosine X and C now equals 1. Therefore, sine squared x plus cosine squared x now equals 1. Divide both sides by cosine and get 10 squared x plus 1 equals secant squared x. Divide both sides by sine and you get cotan plus 1 equals cosecant squared x. Double angle of sine is two sine times cosine. Double angle of cosine has three different types. Cosine squared x plus sine squared x is way number one, but use the main identity to derive the other ones. Replace cosine squared x with one minus sine squared x, and you get one minus two sine squared x. Or replace sine squared x with one minus cos squared x, and you get two cos squared x minus one. Double angle of tan is a complex fraction to tan over one minus tan squared x. Double angle of tan is a complex fraction to tan over one minus tan squared x.